How's it going everybody? Welcome to Back in the Box Disc Golf. My name is Cole. Thank you so much for watching today's video. The disc I wanted to bring you a review of today is the Infinite Discs Centurion in the Swirly S Blend Plastic. This is the Andrew Marweed Signature Disc that was released in February 2021. The Centurion is a 7-speed fairway driver with flight numbers of Speed 7, Glide 5, Turn negative 1, and Fade 1.5. So what that means is it's going to have turn and then fade back. Um, depending on the plastic, those numbers might feel a little bit different. So if you're not familiar with Infinite Discs, they are manufactured by Innova. So this is actually a star plastic, um, swirly star plastic. And yeah, this star plastic, at least compared to something like Champion or C-Blend, is going to have a little bit more grip, a little bit more flex, feels really, really nice. The Centurion is available in other plastics. There is also an iBlend Centurion that's available. There is a Glow Metal Flake Centurion. I really like that plastic also. And then we have the Swirly S here. A really strong comparison for this disc would be a Discmania FD after it's been beat up a little bit. So out of the box, if you compare an, a new S-Line FD and a new S-Blend Centurion, the Centurion's gonna be a little bit flippier. It'll have some more turn to the right for my right hand backhand and then fade back. Or if you have a left hand backhand, it'll go to the left and come back. One of my favorite things about the Centurion mold is just how much distance it gets. So I can throw my, I have an eye blend in my bag. I throw hyzer release hard and low and it flips to flat. And when it fades out, it doesn't fade so far to the left. It wants to fade sort of at a diagonal, so it wants to stay in the air, which is a really, really good thing for my game anyway. I could always use the extra distance. The profile on this Centurion is fairly flat. It's not board flat, but it's not domey either. So it feels great forehand and backhand. Um, I feel like sometimes too flat can feel a little weird for my backhand and too domey can feel a little weird for my forehand. So it's a really, really nice balance of forehandable and backhandable if we're going to make up words like that. All right, that's enough talking about the Centurion. Let's go, let's go throw this thing. All right, everybody, I've had a chance to throw this in the field and it sort of sits right in the middle stability wise for the Centurion. It's not as overstable as the Metal Flake C Blend Centurion, but it is definitely more stable than the I Blend that I have. So what you noticed is in a tailwind, it still wanted to fade down. Um, if you put flat to Anheuser release on it, it'll turn a lot more in tailwinds, but I tried to release it flat just to see what it would do. What I love this disc for is flip to flat and ride four hands also. As I said, the dome isn't too domey or too flat, so you can use it for both and it feels really nice and it's sort of grippy enough to feel really good forehand. Overall, I definitely recommend this disc. Um, I'm gonna have to have some serious conversations with myself about whether this goes in the bag over an FD because in reality, I have been trying to beat up an S-Line FD for a year to fly like this. So we'll have to do maybe a little head-to-head. -head. If you want a video of a head-to-head -head between those two, go ahead and let me know. Um, I'd be happy to do that. But for now, let's leave it there. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching my review of the Infinite Discs Centurion, the Andrew Marweed Signature Swirly S-Blend. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you liked it. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos. All right, have a good rest of your day. Let's go play some disc golf and have some fun. All right, bye-bye.